Today I'm working on a 2009 Audi Q7. It's a pretty nice car as you can see, uh, but there's a little bit of an issue and I wanted to shoot a quick film on this. Uh, my buddy, this is a friend's car, um, parked it in Manhattan and this is where he lives. And there was some sort of leaking going on on the next floor up in this parking garage and lots of calcium deposits and minerals came all over the car. I mean, just horrific. So I'm gonna pull the camera in and I'll show you. It's extremely heavy uh, and I'll show you a little trick um, that I use to actually remove this. So when you're using, when you're removing something like minerals, I know we've talked about it on the podcast, um, you sort of have to play in the pH levels. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about that today. First thing I want to show you here is listen. You hear that? See all this stuff? You can actually feel it between your, my fingers. See it's white now? That's all the actual minerals that's going on. Um, I did a little spot right here with my cleaner just to see if it would come out, and it did. Now what's interesting is this is glass. So on glass, I'm still gonna use the cleaner, but you can actually, um, man, look at all this. Uh, you can actually use a razor blade, but it gets a little dicey in between these little areas here. Uh, but you can see it's just dripped everywhere. So on glass, I'm gonna use a razor blade, razor blade, but obviously you can't do that here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put a little bit of cleaner on here. It's something I've used forever. I just uh, haven't come out with it yet because it's a little bit strong and I, you, know, you gotta be careful when you're manufacturing things when you sell it to the public or give it to the public. It's a little bit more on the, uh, gotta be careful with it, let's put it that way. So I'll show you what it's gonna do um, because it is a, uh, an acid-based product. When you're cleaning something that's uh, non-organic, remember we talked about that with the pH levels, you really want to be uh, cleaning things in with more acid base. You want to fight um, the minerals here. So let me go grab the product, I'll put it on there, and you'll see something very interesting. All right. So I'm going to work this little area right here, and as you can see I put gloves on because we're going to start using a chemical. You see it turning white already? All right, we're going to let that sit. So what's happening is this acid, obviously it's not strong enough where it's going to ruin the paint. That's kind of the trick. This acid uh, is chewing up all, I'm going to pick up the camera, hang on. It's chewing up all the, the deposits. So I want, I'm, now you don't want to go too crazy and play with it, but for demonstration purposes I want to show you. See how it's starting to cut through? and it's picking up all that nasty stuff that dripped down and dried on the car. So, and I said in the little intro there, time is of the essence, because the more that this, the heat absorbs, you know, uh, dries this, all this stuff out, and then kind of penetrates through the paint, then you have to get into wet sanding, which I'm not sure if we need to wet sand or not, because I have to get all this off. I have to get the car as naked as possible. You know, I say that in a lot of my videos to see and assess where we need to go from there. So I'm gonna let this sit for probably another minute or so, and I'll cut back, and I'll, I'll wipe some of it off on camera and show you. Uh, you can actually see the ring here. See where I stopped? It's pretty interesting. So it's, this is about, um, you know what, we'll stay, we'll stay live right here. It's, it's about done in terms of its effectiveness. I'd have to put more on there. So you can see it's stopped the white, stopped getting white. So see, see how chunky this is? It's almost like uh, salt. Hear it? That's why we put the directional on today. This volume sounds, sounds a little wonky. I wanted to have you guys hear it and sort of taste it and see it. Look at that. So that little bit is nice and smooth. What I'm gonna do is work this entire area. I'll do this with a razor blade. because it's. Uh, I'm still gonna use the product because it, it will cut it up. So I'll take a razor blade and, and kind of shave that as much as possible. See, it's not really coming off, but see the powder? Uh, this here, obviously, I can't do with a razor blade, but I'll work this whole area. Then when I'm done, it's important to focus in for you. It's uh, important to wash down the car to sort of neutralize all the acid that I'm gonna be using on this. So, I'm gonna uh, do a little bit of work and I'll cut back and show you the after, um, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. All right, so here's the glass. So I just cleaned the surface here, see that? 
by letting it sit there. I wanted to show you something cool on the glass. So I'm going to take the cleaner that I have. Look at this. Pour a little bit on there. See it turning white immediately? Okay. Put this to the side. I'm going to show you in real time. See how it's starting to eat? And I'm going to take razor blade, right? See it caking up? Hear that noise? That's all the gunk that's stuck on there. That's the minerals. That's the sandpaper, so to speak. So if you do this wrong and you're not using a chemical that counteracts it, meaning with a pH level that's specific to clean an inorganic stain, which this is, you can hear that? You can get that scratching on the paint. Now again, we're on glass. I'm just going to do a small little area. Put this down. Take a little towel. Boom. Perfect. So I'm going to do that on the, on the entire car. And it just, it's time consuming. There's a little bit of gunk here. Obviously, I got to, you know, wash it. But you can see that the deposits, the mineral deposits are gone. And when I sprayed or uh, dripped the water spot remover I have on it, it just kind of takes it all away. So I'm going to show you uh, another picture. All right, so now I'm working on the glass, and I wanted to make a point to you here. This is a temperature gauge, right? So I'm going to hit it there. Thing on. All right, so let's see for sure if you can see that, but it says 94.1 right there, right? So I'm going to put this down. I'm doing this by myself, so it's kind of hard. So I'm going to put a bunch of product on there. I'm going to zoom in. Let's try to get this focus for you. All right, so now I'm going to wipe it in. You see it? Now the thing is, because this is an actual reaction, it's actually getting warm, getting pretty hot. Uh, generates a little bit of heat, what they call exothermic. So, I'm going to do, go back in, and I'm going to measure it again. And when I measure it, 95.6, so it actually went up a few degrees because of the, the reaction that's taking place, which is kind of neat. Now, unlike glass, you can't really use a scraper would be really nice, but you wouldn't have any paint left. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put a little bit of the um, water spot remover on a microfiber towel. The reason why I'm using a microfiber towel is aside from the fact that it's very soft, but we need to pick up uh, a lot of this, uh, a lot of these minerals without grinding them into the paint. So we're going to we're going to do that. A lot of times, I also like to do. Um, Again, I'm giving you my advice, and I don't want to have anybody do anything that they're uncomfortable with. See, it's starting to turn white. It's 12 o'clock. So what I want to do is I'm just going to move it around a little bit with my fingers, but I have gloves on, so hear that? As well as the siren, because it's noon. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute or two, and I'll come back, and we'll wipe it off. All right, so I showed you how to take it off the glass and the paint, but here it's actually a painted surface, but it's plastic, so it's a touch more sensitive, if you will. So I'm gonna take a bit of water spot remover, see it on the towel, I dab it, see how it turns white again? You wanna be a little bit more uh, cautious and careful on plastic, just because it, it tends to be a bit softer. And like I showed you before, sometimes uh, these sort of reactions and it is a chemical reaction generates a bit of heat so you just you want to be gentle and not uh, go too crazy with this see how it's turning white yeah that's what you want see right there so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute or so there you go and then we're gonna take it off keep, keep that running I'll take a fresh side of the microfiber towel I like to get in there with my hand just a little bit to see where we're at. And we'll just uh, see, we're gonna have to put a little bit more cleaner on there and let it sit longer. So, after a minute or so, we got a bit of it off. See, I'm getting more of it, it's getting all inside the towel. So, I'll just take the first layer off on the plastic, see, there's still remnants, and then I'll go back in. These, these small areas that come right off. But this thick deposit, 
You have to go back in and do it again, which is not a problem. See, it's almost, it's almost off. But a little bit there, so what I'll do, put a bit more. This is what I mean about being gentle. You, you don't want to go too crazy. Let the product do its, do its work. So I got most of it off, but that top part is really caked on. And you know, I always talk about layers, and that, that really gets layered on, but in a bad way, layered full of gunk. See, the, see it coming off right there, the white? So if you use chemicals the right way and you understand the pH level uh, and what you're cleaning, you can save a lot of times. A lot of times people would want to wet sand this or buff it, and that would just be uh, an overkill. You wouldn't want to do that. Right, so we'll just... The car is done and it looks spectacular. It took a few hours, and there's a few things that you need to keep in mind when you're doing it. Remember, we did three different materials. Glass, where you can use a razor blade. Paint, obviously you can't use a razor blade, but you can put a little bit more pressure on it. And then plastic pieces, where it's a bit softer, so you want to take your time doing them. We used a water spot remover, um, it's very, very effective, but at the same time, it is an acid. Remember, we talked about in the podcast uh, the difference in pH levels. So when you're cleaning something that is a calcium deposit or an inorganic stain, you need to use something that is more acidic base to kind of get in there. And we showed that in this video where it turns white and kind of eats away the material. After we finished, we washed the car down like just a normal wash just to kind of remove all the excess um, acid from the car and then uh, clayed it and sealed it you're ready to go. So this thing's gonna is about to leave and go right back in the same garage. So hopefully we won't have the same issue. But any questions, shoot me an email at LarryAmmoNYC.com and I will talk to you guys on the next video.